Now, many of you may have seen last night's episode of The Bachelorette, and I'm watching the show for the first time ever, okay? Because I love a social experiment, and I wanna do this collectively with everybody. I mean, this is why I'm jumping in, is because I wanna be with everybody else. But I'm not totally convinced yet. This is all new to me. I'm not the biggest reality TV person, believe me. I have, like, my treats. I ain't judging, believe me. We all have our thing, and reality TV is a lot of people's thing, which is why I wanna try it, too. So I might need some persuading, but really, I just wanna discuss it. So here to change my mind, batch edition, is Michelle Collins. <laughs> Michelle, <sighs> hello. I missed you, hi, congratulations. How are you, what's going on? Oh my God, um, everything has been so amazing, yes. so crazy, so wonderful, so wild, which is, you know. It's just, fun, it's you. I feel like that's very you. You know, I'm an excitable person. I'm a little <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I love pop culture. I love human interest. I love a human mood board, and that's what the show is. Well, I am excited that uh, you've chosen me to teach you about The Bachelor and Bachelorette because it is something that has now been woven in my DNA. I eat it, I breathe it. Um, I have no choice. I live tweet the show, well, and I want to teach you about this season. And you help me with reality TV because you're a fan and I am a newbie. So, all right, let's talk this season. Claire Crawley. Yes. Um, this is season 16. Why are people so hooked into this show? Well, first of all, she's an ancient 39 years old and I'm also 39. So I should add, it's my age, but they talk about it. She's the oldest bachelorette ever. Um, and they talk at about 39, it. 39, which is like a baby. A, a newborn child. No, they talk about her like they resurrected Jessica Tandy. It's like right. she's a young, beautiful woman. Total Jessica Tandy. Um, and, but they brought these guys in that are very young. Now, I don't know if you've ever dated younger. The energy for a younger man to older woman is a little different than what the show is used to seeing. I used to like not care about age, but now I would definitely want to date someone my age or older because I'm just like, oh, please, I can't go backwards. Um, <laughs> okay, so last night I was watching um, where the guys went up to her and they literally reacted, reenacted a Cinderella tower. Yes. And it's like, oh my God, you're literally perpetuating like the fairy tale. And then the one guy that she was really into said he chooses, he chooses the hard road in life, but that really spoke to her. That did, well, everything kind of speaks to her. Like she has an intensity about her. <laughs> I'm just being honest, I like her, but she's very intense. You know, she really connects. Um, and they spent uh, the entire ABC budget to build that set, as you saw. I mean, it's extremely, you know, they're in lockdown. I, they don't have a lot of choices. They can only do dates on this, in this resort that they're staying in, so. I'm also not convinced that like, no one's running off with that host, because he gets an extreme extreme amount of screen time. Now here's what I really want to <laughs> do. That's spicy by the way. Michelle, yeah, you're so cool. And I'm thinking like, let's game this with everybody. Like yeah. I, draft, you know, what is it? Draft picks, dream, draft fantasy, picks. Fantasy, fantasy league, yes. we call it. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. let's do a fantasy league together for Bachelorette Nation. So far, like what are the tells? How do you think we can like figure out like who's coming, going, staying? Cause there seems to be a lot of drama. Well, there are so many men at the moment. It's um, truly like Costco levels. There's just everywhere you look, there's guys. <laughs> and at the moment, they're not, they haven't really eliminated a lot of people. What the tell for this season so far has been this guy, Dale, who is dropped at gorgeous. Yes. They've been She said she thought her met her husband the second she met him. Wouldn't you say that if you met? I would say it. If I met Dale, I'd be like, well, it's happened to me. And then a week later, I don't hear from him. I'm like, oops, you know. But it, so far, it's a lot of rumors are swirling. You know, I love a swirled rumor. Well, and Claire was seen like with an Instagram pic that I'm like, what does the network think? What does ABC think of her showing her with like a promise ring? Well, she says that that promise ring is something she gave herself. Like there's all these weird things as like a, you know, I don't want to get into this woman, but like her thinking in this sense, but it's a promise to herself in some way. I don't know what that's about. All right, well, men, you know Are what? Are we out of time? You're gonna have to outdo Claire <laughs> no. for herself, which I love. She's putting her first. All right, thank you, Michelle. That was so fast, thanks, Drew, love I you. know, let's get a draft going. Let's do this. Everybody join in on our social experiment with The Bachelor. Listen, we'd be happy to give you some roses, right? I've